Welcome back in episode 36. So in this week's video, I'm going to be cutting a bit more of that rust out that we found in the, uh, the front passenger wing last week. Um, what I want to do is basically grind it down to get all the rust out and expose just sort of shiny, clean, raw metal, uh, and then try and work out how to, uh, how to solve that. Um, I suspect the driver's side is going to be the same, maybe not quite as bad, because I've, I've not found too much there yet. But I'm going to focus on that wing, uh, the passenger side, and just try and get that resolved, uh, work out what to do with it, and then I'll do the same on this side off camera. Um, please leave comments if you know what I should be doing, or if you see me doing the wrong thing. Uh, I'll talk about what I'm doing as I go through it, but uh, please leave comments for that. Um, I'm also going to try and finish off the calipers, so the front calipers. They were sandblasted about three weeks ago. So I'm going to tidy those up, spray them, and use the uh, rebuild kit that I bought uh, and try and get them sort of finished off and packed away somewhere. Um, so um, also please remember to click subscribe, click the like button, and uh, keep sticking with me on this journey. But for now, let's just jump into the video and see where we go. Okay, so this uh, next job is going to be dismantling the calipers, getting the piston and the uh, rings out, and then we'll renew them. Uh, well, take them out first, spray this all up, uh, bake it in the oven so it's good and hard, and then we'll renew. Uh, I've got a new piston, new rings, and new seal. Um, but first, this is in the way. To take the two parts apart, I need to pull this um, sort of spring out. Well, I tried previously and I couldn't get it out, so let's give it another bash. I think I might go straight to heat and just sort of warm it up and then it'll pop out. Okay, after enough fighting, I managed to get the uh, the two halves separated. Uh, it'd probably make you cry if you saw how long it took. Um, so what I want to do now is blow out the um, the piston, which I can do with my compressed line. I was just looking because uh, the seal is kind of investigating a little bit. Uh, I presume that's the jacket that holds the rubber seal on. That's the rubber seal. That's the sand that was uh, used in the sandblasting. I'm just curious if it will just pop out without me sparking up the compressor. It's probably seized in, no my luck. We'll know how to get that out later. Uh, I've got a new piston, so I'm not worried about scraping it. Let's see if it's going to come out easily. It's in an ideal world, this would be nice and free free moving <clears throat> or moving at all which it, oh, there it is it's, it is gonna move okay so we will really get that out just sort of loose investigation might be easier just to compress it out and just pop it straight out should anyway yeah it does move so we're okay um let's give it a little pull and just see if it'll come out this way Right, Whew. okay, so one piston out, put them on the side, empty caliper, and visually it doesn't look bad, I'm going to wash it all out because there's obviously a lot of sand inside there, uh, I'll pop and do that now, uh, and then we can tidy up and then work out how we clean it ready for spraying. Okay, so today's job is going to be to rebuild these calipers. Um, they've been sprayed up, uh, that's had a few days to dry now, so it's pretty pretty hard. Um, they're two-piece calipers, you can see there. I've assembled this one here, because uh, I want to try and get it all together with this piece in place. Um, on my calipers, actually I can show you on this one, I couldn't get this, this piece of uh, wire out, which when the piston's in, it's very hard to get this back inside the, uh, the actual main caliper. So I'm going to try and do it with that piece in, in place already. Uh, I may struggle, but let's give it a go and see what happens. Um, so, I've got a little tub of DOT4 fluid. I've got no gloves, uh, so I'm going to do it with fingers and then wash really quickly after. Uh, so I'm going to pop this one in first. Give it a quick coat in DOT4. Let's get some on it. Right, and I've cleaned out the um, this, these oops, pistons completely. 
with compressed air and we're wiping them out with brake fluid and everything. So I'm, I'm happy they're completely clean. Um, yeah, that's the, the seal's gone in there. Then I've got a piston here that is already coated in dot four, but I'll give it a little bit more just to help it. Let's wipe my fingers. Right. So this needs to be installed at 20 degrees. Uh, and the trick I was watching online is to uh, insert it. And it's got some little grooves on it. Hopefully you can see those there. There's two grooves. You make that bottom groove line up with the bottom of the caliper and that'll be 20 degrees apparently. Uh, if I can just get that to wobble in. Looks about right. Just trying to feel it's gonna be a pretty tight fit with the uh, with the rubber in place. So this is using a C clamp, just very gently. Uh, it's not actually putting much force in it at all. Um, and I'm rotating because I know it's putting force on one side, which is not great. Um, just gently pulling it in. Right, hopefully this is visible. Um, what we've got is the dust boot. So we just slide that over the piston. So I've left enough of it out there that I can get onto the, the ridge. And should we just put, um, no, I think we're okay actually. Yeah, I'll put a little bit of dot on it. Just around that lip. Just a little splash. Okay, so just slide that down like that. Maybe that's sitting in the in the groove, which it is. And then we just fold down the um, the sort of the whole dust boot, and it will lip or catch over that lip. I think you can just see where my fingernail is. Uh, and this is where it's going to be tricky because I've put this part of the caliper in. I'm just going to check if it's easier if I extend that bit of the caliper out. Let's have a look. That comes out like that. The whole problem is um, getting this piece in with the uh, with that wire in place is very tricky. So I'm hoping I can do it like this from here. Which it looks like I probably can if I can just support the caliper. Like that. Okay, so that now. Again, you can't really tell, but that dust boot is all the way round uh, and set in the, in the piston groove as well. So then we just need to get one of these retaining rings on. Uh, let's try and press it upside down, that won't keep popping down. Uh, I don't know how stretchy this is. Let's just have a go. Definitely easier without that part of the caliper in the play in the way, but it is what it is. So it's trying to work out exactly where it should be, if it should be right at the back. Um, for where the groove is. Yeah, I think it should be right at the back, right there. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward, not too bad. Uh, and then this piece can slide back down where it was. There we go. One caliper done. So we'll do the next one the same. And they're not immaculate, but they're um, they're pretty clean. They look quite good. Back to the original black, I think that they were. Um, it's a shame these ones don't have the Porsche symbol on like uh, some of the other ones, but they're still pretty pretty tidy caliper. So back to the uh, this rust in this wheel up. So what I'm going to do now is um, I've obviously used the um, flat pad to sort of grind off the metal just to sort of explore where it is. What I'm going to do is actually take out this section I've drawn on here, but take out this section here with the, with the uh, grinder um, so we can see what's underneath. This is a double skin. Um, ultimately, what I'm aiming for is to weld 
uh, basically remove all the way along this seam here and uh, fabricate a piece of metal that goes across from about there all the way across um, and weld it in across the top and the bottom uh, basically rebuilding this section uh, but first I, I just want to see because this is a double skin I want to see what's underneath here and see how rusty it is so I think it's worth sort of cutting across maybe like a centimeter thick channel maybe an inch something like that uh, and then depending on what I find I'll, I'll sort of cut further up here maybe you know we'll end up I don't want to go up as far as these holes but somewhere along here and sort of cut across I think it's a pretty successful cut. You can see it's about a centimetre thick. And you can see what's in there. It's basically rust. So it was well worth doing. Uh, I'll, I'll, I haven't actually looked at it yet. But um, ultimately I'm going to carry on up to about here somewhere. Remove all of this under my screwdriver thing. Uh, and then just explore how far up um, I need to cut off. What I want to do is basically I, I want something that I can weld up onto. So uh, probably roughly where I'm drawing there. Uh, but let's find out what's under here and treat all this under here. There's obviously a hole here as well, which I'm going to sort of... Um, I just want to explore what's there. I can I can expose and weld over the whole thing, but I want it all open first so I can treat it. Same down this end here, there's obviously a hole here. Um, I, I want to see where the extent is. Uh, this is single skin here, just goes straight through to the engine base. There's nothing big there, but I can cut around here like this. But let's just keep going and see what we find. Right, let's have a look. Uh, so I've exposed a bit more now. I just want to try and see what is up there. Um, what we're up against. So that's another skin there. I think that's another. I'm trying to ascertain how much rust there is and where it starts and where it stops. Um, this I'm going to remove in a second. Um, I think I'm going to cut a fraction more from this side here so I can see what's going on. This is all trash anyway, so I think we'll take that off now. Give you a bit more of a zoom in of where I've got to. So that's taken out about, I guess about three centimeter strip uh, along here, you can see it's width of my two fingers um, straight across there so I can expose and see what's going on a little bit more corrosion here uh, the underside of this seems solid uh, this is the original weld of the bottom of this plate that comes down that's pretty solid obviously uh, corrosion here and where are we here uh, I need to sort of sort out, I'm still cutting away here a little bit more um, what I'm curious is here so I'm just sort of further investigating here um, I'll expose a bit more along here so there's something to weld onto. But you can sort of see the shape of roughly what I'm going to fabricate to fit in there, uh, welding top to bottom. So it sort of keeps that structural uh, rigidity. Uh, but we're getting there slowly. Obviously, this is all new work for me, but we're slowly getting there. Right, that's where we are now after the next cleanup. Uh, obviously, I've punched a hole through here, so that was corroded through here into this box section. So I need to get in there and actually have a proper look at it. Um, I've literally just done that now. Uh, but I've tied up a bit more around here, exposed a bit more here, all looks okay. Um, yeah, there's quite a bit of corrosion around here. Okay, so this is where I've got to with the, um, I suppose you call it the suspension tidy up. The, hole that I found the rust, I initially found it just here, then I've exposed more and more and I found it's come through this uh, cross member. Um, I'm just been grinding away, sort of cleaning it out. I'm pretty much there I think, I mean there's a little tiny bit more to do, um, I'm not sure how it comes out on camera, but um, it's all just exposed metal, it reflects differently in different places, but uh, it's pretty much clean now. Um, so there's a tiny bit more here I need to get at and same the other side, uh, just to sort of take the rust off. So I'm going to treat that with rust killer. There's a couple of places I can't quite get to, sort of up underneath here. Um, I don't want to take any more out there, so I'm going to sort of 
basically treat it, uh, make sure it converts all the rust over. And then uh, my plan is to put one plate across here. So basically one plate to repair the cross member. That'll be tight, um, straight across, welded on like that. Basically welded against this seam. Uh, and then the second plate I'm gonna build um, will probably go, it'll go from this line across the new plate down to the bottom. It's kind of how it was before and all the way across to here and there. Um, but before I do that, I need to obviously kill everything um, and just make sure it's all sort of safe and not gonna rust anymore. But it's getting there, not too bad. Um, I've not exposed much on the other side yet, but I'm probably expecting similar. Maybe, I don't think it's quite as bad on the other side, but um, we'll get this side sorted and then we can come back and do the other side. So I think that wraps up this week. Um, I'm quite pleased, I'm not pleased how much rust I've found, but I'm quite pleased how it's cleaned up. I think I've exposed it I've traced around um, sort of about, a, I suppose about a centimetre, an inch all the way around the rust. Uh, I've made sure everything around it is solid. Uh, all the rust is taken out. Um, there's, there's one more bit I just want to go on a little bit more. But generally, I'm happy I've got everything there. Um, I've got some sheet metal and I'm going to start templating and cutting out strips. I think I can do it in two sections. I think I said in one of the earlier videos. Um, one across the... Uh, the box section, not a cross member, the box section that runs you know, from the bulkhead to the front. One sort of welded on there, covering that up, and then another piece coming down from the uh, upper control arm sort of uh, support bit uh, across that new section of box. Um, I hope that's gonna be okay. Leave a comment if I'm wrong with that. Um, but that's, we're moving on and we need to deal with it, so that's not too bad. Um, the calipers are built, I'm happy. They're in bags now, tucked out the back. Um, they'll be ready to go back on when we resolve this. I think um, generally I've, I need to resolve the welding on both sides, then I, I'm, I feel like then we're putting things back together and that's what I'm really dying to get to. Um, I still have that goal in my mind to get the engine in and running. Seems a long way off now, but we get, <laughs> we're slowly getting there. Um, but anyway, you know, as ever, thank you for watching, staying with me in this, on this journey. Uh, please click the subscribe button, stay with me a bit longer. Uh, we will get there, I'm sure. And uh, I'll see you next week.